Good, you're here. The Nilfgaardians attacked us. Any idea why? They were loitering around here, staring into the fog as if waiting for something. I summoned Fenn, Silas, and a few others, and told Vess to cover us from a distance while we went to talk to them. So, I asked the black dogs courteously why they were gazing into the fog, as if the Emperor himself was about to emerge from it. No answer. But I can see the anger, knitted brows, faces reddening. And they start growling to each other in that dog's tongue of theirs. A woman came out of the mist, beautiful and barely alive. She dropped to the ground and a small object slipped from her hand. It was a jade figurine. No larger than a man's hand. If I didn't know it was impossible, I'd say it was Triss turned into a statuette. It is possible. Artifact compression. Where's this woman? I don't know. The girl growled at the soldiers and all hell broke loose. The Black Ones jumped us and she ran off towards the camp. I need to follow her. We're going with you. Fall in!
We don't want no trouble here. No talking to the prisoner. What do you want? Can I talk to him? You're all right. I've heard you've been helping our lads. Talk away, but be quick. If the corporal sees you, he'll have your balls. And ours. Bloody fat girl. What do you want? Information. I'm responsible for you being captured. I don't understand. I warned Jorvik that the Kingslayer had betrayed him. Your leader's alive because of me. You lie! You're not one of us. Never claimed to be. I'm not interested in your fight, nor in that of the humans. I have my own goals. I'm hunting the Kingslayer and need information. Will you help me? I'd rather not reveal anything to the Dwan. Do you know Elder Speech? The Thurman and Mirendan's Hest. Ev de Sala a mess up de Mevneslet. Sea here. And Ted Verletho came and Sterp Dunverneer Wert. Erte Drea e Duan. Seret en Ox vat Gern Est. Then a Arthur Neck Wert. Visse Egen. Erle Egen. Ken Hatner, then thar emen dunv, dak mamert. Veke an me vene tres. En hert eb kianye esme geth verth. Se este en kien e dieble eb ars kied. Ken yese thith treas. Mesem treas gled. The Kelle Elethene Hist came. Niame Herth, Este Erwerth, Epkethen Ken Hest. Quintes Ken. Then Kean Velt Emer Dorvat Gern. Ken then a deam Hest. Then a Neasel Vedesal in Esne Geert. Venea Senden Ert El. Eteam Nea Second Year. Elisera? Mekian behen ted feen esert. Seret nea ura jasen het. Er teb orks garthe seget enith rothen kem hest. Te ern motha diam. Rathain? Ke diables rathain vertherel. Vesenith rothen deren henselt gerel vurte hen. Then the arm elestrea hen. Ne mer se herth. Vafel. Quen erl vat gern hen linge quen. Ne me seht. Oxen and seret est elle quen. Vel merth quen bled kenneth belk. Vethen emeth quen bled. Seet the step gathes en treth winnes. Vafel! Esea enka ed. Debre teme. How'd you do? Greetings. Camp. 
We're too late. Is the Percival ready to sail? It is. But they will not let us go. Henselt has plans of his own. I couldn't give a shit about Henselt. Schillard has Triss, and I need to save her. It's not an option. They'll not let us sail until you lift the curse. And we've no chance of catching the Nilfgaardians on foot. If they wanted to kill her, she'd be dead already. Besides which, we know where they've gone. Loch Muin, Witcher. The monarchs and mages are to meet and decide the fate of the known world. You will find Triss there. I promise. King Henselt awaits you, Witcher. Spoken to the king yet? Indeed, he was delighted to hear he can be cut from the curse. Great, because I need the medallion of the priest known as Crest. I heard it's in Henselt's possession. <laughs> He'll give you nothing until you free him from the curse. Truthfully, I believe I understand him. You have a good chance of perishing when you confront the Draugurs. Give me a break, Deathmold. The two of you are just afraid I'll leave this entire mess in your hands. Ah, that is something I do not fear at all, for I know exactly why you're here. As for the king, you may curse him and scold him and call him a fool if you wish, though it's not something I would advise. See you. Oh. King Henselt awaits you, Witcher. Damn it! This is a brothel, not a military camp. At last, have you got Sabrina's spear? Not only that, I've got all three artifacts. You won't regret it. Let's do some magic! She died here. And pissed and shat as she did. Evil place. You can feel it in the air. Those candles don't help any either. They've gone mad. Someone said the bitch died a martyr, and now the common folk burn candles for her. I have to observe this place from a distance. During the execution, I was on that hill. I'll show you.
flat area. That's good. Are you concerned for your feet? Your Majesty, you need to draw runic protective signs around the stake. Magic signs are the domain of witches, not kings. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's important that you draw the circle yourself, Your Majesty. Important for whom? It was your death, Sabrina foretold. So who do you think? All right. Tell me what we do. To lift the curse, we have to reenact the events from three years ago. How do you wish to do that if half of those involved lie rotten with the worms? It's about the energy of that time. The energy of the woman who cast the curse, combined with the energy of its victim. <laughs> when you get the runic signs right, Sabrina's ghost will appear. Bring the bitch to life. It'll be a pleasure to put my spear in her. Remember to stab her in exactly the same spot as that soldier did, but earlier this time, before the sorceress completes the curse. I look for the hole. But how am I to know when? When you realize that the curse concerns you. But be ready, she may use a different name. Is that all? For you. Then I take over. Spectres might appear during the exorcism. Might or will? It depends on Sabrina's aura in the spirit world. I'll wager ghosts loathe the cunt. Let's get it over with. Tell me what I am to draw. You have to go down there, Your Majesty. What about you? I'll guide you. I have a good view from up here. Pour the powder towards the petrified bread loaf, Your Majesty. Head towards the black candles, Your Majesty. Now go towards the goat skull, your majesty. Now towards the burnt tree. Find the raven's corpse, your majesty. Now spread the powder and head for the stone bowl. Go towards the pixie ring, your majesty. 
Sire, form a large, even circle at a good distance from the pyre. It's turned out beautifully. Pity the wind will soon scatter it. The evil power of the curse came from the fire. Fire is a hard element to tame, and this one had added potency. It consumed the body of the one casting the curse. Enough of these phantasmagorias, as Death Mold puts it. Look at my boots. Stay in the circle, Your Majesty. The powder reeks of dwarven dung. Your Majesty. They're scared of ghosts as we all are. Curses! There's hundreds of them! Calm down, Your Majesty. We're protected by the magic runes. The ghosts won't get past the barrier. I'm not afraid of people, but those plowing creatures have begun to bother me. You're safe if you stay within the runes. What should I do? When the sorceress calls your name, you have to show mercy and end her suffering with the spear. You've broken the circle. The specters could get through. What shall we do? I'll take care of them. You finish the exorcism, Your Majesty. I'm too old for this. Curse you himself! By blood and fire! Let it be so by blood and fire! star. Let fools be choked by the sight of fish let the unicorn fire a thousand years old pain and power of fire devouring air by the charred bones of the innocent. Let the prophecy be fulfilled. You will die in accordance with my prophecy. You cannot escape your fate. Curse you, Henselt! Blood and fire. Let it be so blood and fire. Split the heavens and work its mortal journey with a trail of blood. Let shoes be choked by the sight of fish nails turned by magic into square pieces of gold. Let the unicorn violate thousand-year-old rules by the pain and power of fire devouring air. By the charred bones of the innocent, let the prophecy be fulfilled. You will die in accordance with my prophecy. You cannot escape your fate. Curse you, Henselt. Let it be so by blood and fire. Split the heavens and walk a mortal journey with a trail of blood. Let food be choked by the sight of fish scales turned by magic into square pieces of gold. Let the unicorn violate thousand-year-old rules. By the charred bones of the innocent, let the prophecy be fulfilled. In accordance with my prophecy, you cannot escape your fate. Curse you, Henselt! By blood and fire, let it be so by blood and fire. Let us shoot. Now, your majesty. Yeah!
It worked. Are you sure? All I can say for sure is that a dwarf can pass between a troll's legs, even on tiptoe. But I think it went well. Good. For me and for you. But all the worse for Edern. You owe your freedom from the curse to Saskia's generosity. You should send a delegation to thank her, your majesty. I'll thank her in person once you disperse the fog of specters from the battlefield. That'll be much harder. I have faith in you and faith can move mountains. Funny you say that. I need an artifact symbolizing faith. Yes, Deathmole told me. I'll give you the medallion. First I must have a drink. Come to my tent. I'll roll out my best wine. You deserve it! Guess they'll never learn.
trouble approaches. I'm glad you're here. A messenger from Redania arrived this morning. Read. The King of Redania, Radovid V, son of Vizima and Hedvig from Malior, the heir... Get to the point. The point is, it's not true that after the death of King Foltest, Temeria will be inherited. In truth, Foltest left a lawful heir. Who is this heir? Due to the tragic death of Prince Busi, his sister Anais will inherit the Temerian crown. Witcher, you fought in the battles for the Lavalette's fortress. Tell me, how old is this princess? She's too young to rule. Remind me, who's her mother? Anais's bastard offspring. That's it. Bastards cannot be heirs. If you counted all the bastards I begat, I could fill all the thrones of the North. What the hell's going on? Guards! Are they? They wanted to kill me. Me! Ha! The scum. Witcher, we must talk. Deathmold said you needed this medallion. You saved my life, and I'm not nearly as ungrateful as some might say. You'll receive the pendant in due time. Pity none could be taken alive. Don't fret, Tanzaville. There are ways to make a dead man speak. I know those methods. Necromancy is forbidden. 
In the absence of the council and the conclave, it's hard to know what is forbidden. What would you say, Your Majesty? I want to know everything. Plow that corpse if you have to. Do anything it takes. Necromancy, Your Majesty, is a branch of magic. I don't care. Do as you're told. Count me out. Ah, as the common folks say, be at ease, the woman's gone. I'll need your help, Witcher. You know where to find me. It's never ending. I'm the bloody king, but she mumps and sulks like some common servant was trying to grope her. Not every sorcerer is like Death Mold. Many don't like messing with corpses. As long as she's in my camp, she'll do as I say. Go. Death Mold is probably biting his nails in anticipation. Greetings, Witcher. The sight of your camp must instill fear in your enemies' hearts. I'm certain the stench does. Normal military conditions, Witcher. Boiling cabbage, stale sweat, and the smell of fear. They're constant companions in the expansion of any great empire. Thanks for the history lesson. I take it you'll wait until the last minute to bring the remaining troops across. Nothing sinks defenders' hearts more than steady increases in their enemies' ranks. Though I'll say these Vergen sons of bitches are worthy foes and won't flee so easily. It's good having a neighbor who knows how to fight. I'm not sure the people of Edern share that sentiment. Death Mold was kind enough to help me. I may be able to lift the curse sooner than I thought. Details don't interest me. I expect results. That said, Master Geralt, what would you say to a long-term offer? Protection, for instance. If it involves eliminating monsters, then yes. That's perfect. My regal person is at all times threatened by potential monsters. Not the same. I'm ill-suited to being a bodyguard. You tread upon a slippery meadow, Witcher. Beware, it's strewn with the nastiest cow pies. I am not one to be refused. Still. I've had people beheaded for more pleasant answers. I won't change my mind. Fine response. I see there's truth in what they say about the size of a witch's privates. I'm glad to see you no pushover and have a mind of your own. If only I had more men of your ilk, and not the kind of ass-munchers that infest my court. <laughs> 